What's up, everyone? This is Scratch with the Xbox Ambassadors. If you want to know more about the Xbox Ambassadors, I have it written down over here. You can head over to community.xbox.com forward slash ambassadors to know more about that program and find out what we're about. Um, but basically, I've got a quick video here for you. We are going to take a look at your Microsoft account and how to manage different things. And I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing we're going to do is jump over here to xbox.com. This is one of the many ways to do it, by the way. There's other places to see it. Uh, we're just going to click on my name. I've, I've, you see my gamer tag up here and my gamer pick. I've signed in on xbox.com. And I have a link to Microsoft account. Now, I can also go to account.microsoft.com and sign in there as well. Um, but it's going to basically jump me to an account overview uh, where I have a bunch of links basically... Um, that encompasses everything we're going to look at over here. So if I jump over to my info, that's just another summary of like your billing info. For example, I can do under payment and billing or I can click a link here. It's just all redundant. That's what we're looking at here. So the first and most important one we're going to take a look at is services and subscriptions. This is going to ensure that you're not getting um, <clears throat> charge for something that you shouldn't be or you can check to make sure you don't have anything set up to auto renew if you don't want it to or find out what is going to auto renew and when and how much if you do want it to or vice versa this is where you're going to manage all that so you can take a look at your subscription when it renews what the next charge will be and when and how you're paying for it along with links to change any of that however you see fit uh, next, we're going to go over to payment and billing, specifically order history. So this is a pretty good place to go. If you get charged for something or, or whatever and you want to know what that means, you can come over here to order history and you can find um, an order number. You can find out what it was for, when it was, how much it was for, how you paid for it, that sort of thing. Um, you can find all that information here as well as you have different payment options and billing info. So you're going to want to make sure your payment options and your billing info are up to date. Billing info is like your billing address. Um, and all that sort of stuff. You're going to want to make sure that's up to date in case Microsoft wants to send you something. What if you win something and they don't know where to send it? Make sure that's up to date. So uh, payment options also. You're going to want to make sure you don't have any expired credit cards on your account because that could be the cause of a uh, temporary suspension. All that stuff is here. Uh, the next one we have is family. This is one of the most important things. We're talking about your Microsoft account here. And then in your family, you could have a child account so the child account, basically it's like your account and then the child account falls under here and then this account has control of the child account to do things like not purchase things when you don't want them to um, or not play online uh, doing things that they shouldn't be doing depending on what their age is or at least allowing them to do it but also giving you the ability to restrict it if you need it. Um, that sort of thing. Basically, just to kind of keep track of it and take advantage of all those family settings um, or not take advantage of them or just have them available to you or whatever. Um, if you look up the support documents um, for family settings and stuff, this is kind of where you're going to start. Uh, then last but not least is security and privacy. This one is super important. You're going to want to make sure that your password is secure. Uh, make sure that you, you can look at recent activity. Um, you can check out more security settings like app passwords or recovery emails or send me a text every time I do this or whatever to, um, to help protect your account from being um, stolen by someone who either guesses your password because most people like to use their pet's name and like maybe their kid's birthday or something seems to be a popular one um, that people say what their passwords are. Um, that sort of stuff can get you into trouble. This sort of stuff can help you stay out of trouble. So you're definitely going to want to look here and definitely going to want to read through all this stuff and make sure that it's up to date and make sure your phone is in there make sure you have recovery emails and all that stuff set up. But security and privacy is where it's at. So if you guys have any questions, that is the account overview basically of your Microsoft account. This applies to all your Microsoft services as well. And you can also find these settings in other places, um, not just on the account.microsoft.com. But this is a good all-in-one place to look at them if that's what you're after. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Ask me the questions there. I will read through them. I may even make a video, give you a shout out or whatever. Um, or if you have anything to add or feedback or whatever, you can leave that as well. If this video helped you out, I definitely encourage you to please give it a like and subscribe for more because we're going to be cranking out a bunch more. We, we flew through this one. This is just an overview. We'll be touching on things specifically as well in future videos as well as some videos that we already have up. Um, you can find them here. So, And you can't 
you can do that if you don't subscribe, but you can't be notified, I guess, and you have to remember to come back. So subscribe if you want to, and we definitely appreciate it. And I guess that's all I've got. And so thanks, everyone, for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next video.